video on how to install a discriminator tap on a Uniden scanner. For this job, you will need some screwdrivers, some desoldering braid, some solder, some tweezers, a 110K resistor. I've actually got a pack there, but you need one. A piece of insulated wire. access to a soldering iron. Okay, so let's get started. Just to recap, this is for a Uniden UBC 3500XLT scanner. If you're not sure, you can always flip it over and the model number should be printed on the back. On this particular model, um, I've actually got an antenna adapter, so I'll take that off. And I've already removed the batteries. So we'll just take the cover off. Okay, here you'll see we have two recessed screws and four screws on the outer casing. All these need to be removed. Okay, so gently prise the uh, case apart. You may need to push in the battery ta uh, tabs there because they do uh, need to go through the case uh, as it comes off. Okay, so here we have the main board. Again, there are six screws. We have one in each corner, one, two, three, four, and then you've got two by the speaker, five and six. All these again need to come off or out. Uh, don't need to do anything with the top, that all comes out as one unit. Okay, so six screws there. So gently prise it apart. Um, be really careful here because there are some wires, uh, short wires, which go to the speaker. Um, so trying to avoid tugging on those too much. So flip it over onto its back. Remove the cover for the but side button. Okay, and the top module literally just pulls off. There's one connector there. Um, and that's all that connects the two boards together. Okay, the area we need to work in now is actually by the connector, which again, we'll go into greater detail. But firstly, we need to take off the cover off the main board. That just lifts off with a clip. And that's that bit done. Okay, and so going back to the connector, there are three points uh, next to the connector which you need to look at. Um, I've put it underneath a magnifier so you can see it a bit clearer because I couldn't get it uh, working properly on the uh, camera. But you'll see three connecting connections there. One is marked DISC and that's the one you're interested in, the DISC. Hope you can see that uh, on the camera. Okay, going back to the main unit. Again, flip that over very carefully. And above the LCD, there is, uh, right next to the um, connector, there is a uh, SMD resistor that needs to come out. It needs to be desoldered. Okay, so get started with the modification. Um, yeah, one 10K resistor, that's all you need. trim it down a bit because obviously it's a bit long. I've just 
just on one side for the moment and I'll just uh, go through the uh, the other side in a minute okay for speed I'm going to just uh, solder the wire directly onto it uh, ideally you you would prepare the wire um, and tin it um, so that it's easier to, to solder directly onto the uh, resistor so again for speed and try and keep this video a bit shorter um, I'm just going to solder it directly onto the resistor steady hand is uh, needed here okay that's that bit done and uh, you can see there you could put some um, heat shrink around that bit if you wanted to tidy it up okay and on the other bit of the resistor the other side um, I'm actually going to bend that down at 90 degrees um, it will become clear in a minute um, while I'm doing this it basically is to raise it off the board um, so it doesn't uh, short anything out uh, when we solder it uh, to the um, point on that board ok so going back to your top board again looking for that uh, DISC I've actually put a blob of solder already on it in preparation actually quite difficult to uh, solder um, when you've got a camera uh, just directly above you because it obviously gets in the way so uh, I'll, try, I'll try and do the best I can with this um, so I've zoomed in as well so uh, just bear with me so it's a little bit fiddly so um, it's good to have uh, a good light uh, on it Okay, it's a bit out of focus there, but you get the gist of what I've done there. Okay, so that's that bit done. And we can move on to the main board here. And I say we need to desolder the SMD resistor. Again, this is quite fiddly, um, so just take your time. Uh, if you can zoom in, get some tweezers on it, um, apply some heat, and just literally prise it up, as I've done there. And then need some tweezers just to pick it off. You can use your desoldering braid here as well. Okay, so I'm going to clean up those pads. Um, I've actually got a. Uh, I've actually got. Um, some solvent there which you put on there and it actually cleans the pad up and uh, works very well okay the only pad that you're actually interested in is, is the one on the left and um, that's where you're going to connect the red wire so just the one on the left you'll see it uh, I'll say on the video okay so prepare your um, cable so um, I'm going to tin this one because uh, I should have done it properly anyway but uh, anyway here we go <laughs> okay you normally get the, uh, the plastic burning back a bit so again just trim that off so it's a nice short uh, neat connection And I say you need to solder this to the left hand pad only. Okay, and that's basically all the soldering done. Um, just, just double check to make sure they're okay. And that's it. 
So let's uh, reassemble it and we can give it a try. So first thing we need to do is basically just put the uh, shield back on. Again, that just clips on. Okay, carefully flip the top board back. Um, I'm going to try and zoom in on this so you can see how I'm routing the cable. Hope you can see that. Yeah, just tucking it in underneath or between the boards, should I say. And then the uh, top cover bit fits on there, like so. Okay, and the connector should just push together. Make sure it's all aligned properly. And if you have an excess wire, just again, just tuck it in. Uh, and also make sure that it's not pinched anywhere or um, likely to uh, cause any issues when you put the case on. The visual check's fine. So we put the uh, rubber uh, button connector back on. Refit it back to the case. Just making sure it all fits neatly in there, it's all correctly aligned. Do take your time with this, I'd say it's, uh, it's no point. Uh, obviously, if it doesn't fit, then uh, it doesn't uh, go in easily, then there's something wrong. Okay, once you're happy with that, then we need to look at putting the screws back in. So, again, you've got six screws, the two short ones go down by the battery, by, down to band by uh, the speaker. The other four go um, at the corners and in the middle. Okay, and just be careful that the uh, the wires uh, don't cover the uh, holes. Otherwise, when you put the top cover on, you'll end up uh, going through one of the speaker wires. Okay, so that should fit on nicely on there. And put the screws back in. I actually made a bit of a boo boo on this one when I was putting it back together. I missed uh, the two bottom screws down by the speaker, so you'll see that. Uh, I put a little note to uh, come up saying don't forget them. There we go. <laughs> okay, and then so just fit the top cover. Should just clip in. Again, check that it's all lined up correctly. Nothing's been trapped or caught. Uh, fit the two bottom screws. Again, the, this is, these will be the short ones and then the four on the case. And refit some batteries. And you're ready to go. So that's how you do you fit a discriminator tap to a UBC 3500. Um, I'm gonna show you a quick demo on um, decoding um, some um, transmissions. Thanks for watching. New repeater in this area will go off this month. Actually, then my problems with that. Uh, looking forward to it. But to yourself, it's your off last time. Thank you. Okay, Kilo. Uh, yeah, I'm out in the rain garden at the moment. Uh, it's a bit dark out here. I'm getting a solid signal from you also, Bill. Listen, I'm going to have to leave you. Thanks very much for the contact. It's nice to hear you from Los Angeles. Um, no doubt that we'll, we'll, we'll get another contact when I get the adapter to the aerial better, to, uh, better signal as well. Okay, there Bill. That's 73, and I'll leave you to it. Sheffield, South Yorkshire, England. Name is Lawrence. Lawrence. Over. Lawrence, uh, you're absolutely solid with the outside antenna. And uh, I enjoyed meeting you and look forward to the next time. 7-3 and God bless. This is